Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Modded Ark Survival Evolved. I'm probably going to die. That is not good. Don't hit me. Ah, great. And your mate boosted. Crud. And there goes my spear. Yeah, don't kill me. Fun thing is, even if this doesn't kill me, um, can I... Ah, dang it. It's gone. Bummer. Yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. <laughs> gonna say even if this doesn't kill me i have a big old sarco behind me so that's kind of fun oh, yep spit away you guys spit away ah oh, come on die 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 my darlings because i am not in a place where i can tame either of you nope not at all anyway on the last episode we started this here let's play off Got a bunch of mods going. Check the description to see what all is going on. You are level 68. You're about to die. Or I'm about to die. Either way. I think you're going to die before I do. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Die, you little dilo. I'm stuck on a rock. Not good. And we're just continuing on here. There we go. Dilo is dead. I need me some hides. So I'm going to go butcher these guys and get some hides. Look at that. Got a bunch of hides. I'm feeling a little better about things. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and eat some food. Because I think that would be a good idea, right? Now, as I said, there was a Sarko behind me. And I kind of feel like I owe this one a little bit of payback. Oh, are you... Are you stuck? I think you're stuck. Ah, uh, hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm kind of stuck too, but... uh. Well, let's just kind of see what happens here. If I were to do... Oh, I don't know. Huh, let's see. I have that full 200% that I was going for. I'm not sure where I want to go on this one. Movement speed, health, melee damage. All of those are good. Oh. Hmm. Let's go with health for now, because I am probably going to need it. But I wanted to see what would happen if I tried to... Oh, you're free. You are free. Good. I actually don't want you to be free. I was kind of thinking it might be fun to go see if I can tame that Pteranodon. Not that I can do anything with one right now, but that still might be kind of fun. I gotta remember, I don't move as fast as I used to. I've done another series on this game. And at 120% movement speed... Well, it's... Pretty noticeable, really. Hello, there you are. Oh, there's a dodo. I was actually looking for some dodos to kill. That's in part why that... In part why I'm out here? Hmm, I'm guessing you are... Hello. A Bronto over there. So, will you go after a Bronto? Because I wouldn't mind dragging you all the way out there just to get rid of you. I could kill you another day. And I might be able to kill you right now. I'm I'm honestly not 100% sure if I could. I mean, yes, I'm... I know it's possible. I'm just not sure if I would be able to do it, is what I'm trying to say there. Okay. Here's a Brontosaurus. I'm gonna go ahead and let you play with the Brontosaurus. And I'm just going to keep on running this direction. And we're gonna go see if that Pteranodon is still on the beachhead. Now, oh, Sarko's looking a little upset with me. That's okay. Sarko will get over it. Because I might be able to just punch it down. I don't know. I mean, it's super low level. And clearly, compared to a level 68 Dilo, a level, what are you, 8 or 9? Pteranodon is really not much to write home about. But just the same, if I can go ahead and tame it, why not? Hello, you. You're just going to kind of stand there for me, are you? Well, that's convenient for me. I will not hesitate to kill you. Goodbye. And I will definitely take your hides. Thank you very much for your kind, kind donation. And look at that. Pteranodon is still there. I don't know that I have enough meat to tame one, but uh, we can see what happens. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> one little uppercut and away it goes. Figures. All right. Well, see you, Pteranodon. Let's run back up here. I did see a dodo over here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm tired. I know I'm tired. That's kind of why I stopped running, actually. Although I was just a touch too late. It's all right. 
I thought I saw a dodo over here. Well, I know I did see one. I just don't know where it went. Maybe it was a little further this way. I don't know. Did make some upgrades, perform some upgrades on the house. There we go. There's a dodo. We're going to kill you, dodo. Ah! You broke my spear, dodo. And you broke my spear again. That's fine. I thought that was a definite possibility. So we'll just go ahead and chop you up. And then, let's see, can I make another spear? I sure can. I might need some more flint in a moment here. So let's grab some more of that. And, mm, yeah, I think we're good, at least for the time being. All right, how are we doing? There's the Sarko still over there. Wouldn't mind going back to kill that in a little while here. It's just, um, I don't feel quite so ready just yet. Maybe, uh, maybe I could go ahead and whip up a few more spears and we can go toss some spears the Sarko's way. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but we are going to head back to the house. The hut, really. I mean, let's be honest. It's made out of thatch. I think that qualifies it as a hut. Oh, there's another dodo. I'm not going to bother taming any of these guys because why? But I will go ahead and just chop you up with my axe here because that's convenient. Oh, thank you for the egg. I'll go ahead and take that. Where did you go, dodo? There you are. You know, one of the ideas I've been kicking around with this particular Let's Play is doing a minimal taming, or rather having a minimal zoo, I guess we could say. Could tame whatever, but just kind of keeping a minimal number of animals around, in part because they actually really drag performance down when you have a bunch of them. Hello, blue torches. That's how you know we're in my place, because blue torches are mine. Okay, let's go ahead and throw all this meat in here. And I like how it has quite a few more inventory spots as well. That's pretty handy there, compared to the standard campfire that only gives you, what, three slots or something like that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a definite upgrade right there. That's, uh, that's an improvement. I think that's from Akushima. Not 100% sure on that. We're just gonna go ahead and collect a good chunk more wood here, and I would actually like to grab just a little more. So we'll grab another tree's worth. I'll get me close to 80-ish, and that's good because I'm gonna go ahead and make some more spears, and then we're gonna run back here, and I think I'll be able to get back in time before the fire burns out. Should be able to. And we should be able to cook up a bunch of meat, which will be good. It's all going to spoil eventually. But, you know, that's fine. Here, let's go ahead and load you up. And uh, we'll say that should be sufficient right there. And we'll just dump the dodo egg in there because I have nothing better to do with it right now. Let's go ahead and bring weapons back up. And we're going to make a few more spears. Let's just go ahead and craft five of them. That's fine. Now, something I wanted to do and I could not do just yet. We'll go back into this guy. Let's go back to... Hmm, not you. Structures, crafting. I need more stones. Well, it just so happens I have a boatload of them over here. So let's just click a few times. There we go. And we're going to... Oh, I needed 65 total. I needed 61 more. Got it. No problem. Let's go to the correct screen. We're going to craft a mortar and pestle. I don't have a really good place to put it because I designed this building incredibly stupidly. Hmm. Well, I got me a level. I guess that's something. That's better than nothing. Let's put you down there. I, I don't know where to put this. I really don't. Maybe behind the door, next to the door. Something like that. Maybe, uh, maybe by this door. Just because I don't see myself going out that door all that that frequently. So we'll put you right there. Click, click. And then we're going to grab... I don't have any spoiled meat, so we can't make any narcotics just yet. Let's take a look at what we have for options here. Cooking pot. That could be useful. Parasaur saddle. Not interested. Ichthyosaurus saddle. Potentially interested, just not right now. Actually thinking... Uh, probably won't worry about anything in saddle-wise until about level 15. That'll be when I can make a bow too. So not too bad so far. We're going to go ahead and go visit that Sarko because I think that might be a good idea. I'm going to let all that meat cook up. If I need to grab any more raw meat, then I can presumably go kill something and that'll be fine. I'm just going to go ahead and eat some berries here. That's how I'm just kind of keeping up on my food and water right now. should probably tell you I did 
tone down the food and water usage just because it's tedious. It's not even that it's not unreasonable. It just, eh, whatever. I just, I thought I'd play with settings a little bit and really just change things around. So I kind of have. All right, let's go and get rid of the stylo here. Ow, don't hit me. Oh, there's the Sarko. I knew we'd be able to find it before too long. Okay. And let's turn and run. Okay. That's two spears. I only have a few remaining. Come here, Sarko. And turn and run before it hits me. I think this guy will be worth good experience. That's why I'm doing this. That did hurt. I should probably look into making some new armor at some point. Down to my last spear, so I guess I need to stab and run. Okay. He's looking pretty injured. I'm looking pretty injured. All right. We're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to try and get a good few steps on him here. Ah, oh, dang it. I used up all my stuff, didn't I? All right. Tree. Hook it up, man. That should be enough. Don't step on me. I would appreciate that. Ah, now what am I missing? What am I missing? Flint. That's what I'm missing. Okay, let's grab some flint. Oh, hello. Off-road Sark. Ah! I think I took too long. He's healing up. Yeah, and I, I kind of let him get out of combat, so he's healing up. Bummer. Yep, yeah, look at that. He looks fine now. Ah, that's what I get. Don't you kill me. Don't you kill me. There we go. That was bad. I, I didn't mean to craft multiple spears. Wow. Well, I think the Sarko is just going to have to live. I'm going to condemn it to a miserable life on this here island because I can't seem to do anything about it at the moment. Hello, trike. You look like you're stuck. I would free you, but I would probably end up hitting you, and then you would want to kill me. And at this point in the game, you could do so easily. There's the Sarko. How you doing? Are you going to go after the trike? You're just going to spin in circles over there? That's cool. That's cool, man. There's the single player pause. I think it does that about every 15 or so minutes. It's about when it's doing an autosave or something like that. How you doing, Sarko? Yoink. Yeah, I like them apples. Pretty good, aren't they? Satisfying apples. Can I? No, you have a much better reach than I do. That's unfortunate for me. Well, let's go ahead and eat some more food. Just to make sure. Because my leg is broken. I don't know how my leg is broken. I guess I was sticking it out. I was doing the hokey pokey when it kind of bit me. Or something along those lines. I don't know. Whatever. I think the lesson of the day right now is that level 50, 60 some odd Sarko is a little too much for me. And I need to go get a few more levels so I can make a bow, make some trank arrows. And then we could go talk about knocking some stuff out and doing that sort of fun thing. So, ah, that's a shame. I really didn't want it to have to come to that. And I just don't want to spend the points on Slingshot, so I'm not going to. You can't make me. Let's see how we're doing over here. Anything of interest on this particular side of the island? Yes, all sorts of stuff, actually. And I am not high enough level to go check that beacon out. I'm probably too low level with too crummy a gear right now to really be exploring out here, but uh, it's too late for that go back up here. We're going to go to armor. We're going to take care of the remainder of the stuff I need to make, which would be gloves and... Oh, let's do a new hat. Mine's pretty messed up. Gloves and boots. We can put the boots on. We can put the gloves on. My pants could probably stand to be repaired. And we'll go ahead and put that new hat on. We're just going to drop that one. Not even going to bother playing the repair game. Just straight up do a new one. It's totally fine. And that way I can also get the experience for it. So, you know, it works out well for me, I think. Kind of surprised that I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff on the beach. I mean, okay, yes, I have gone 
very slightly inland. We can look on the map here and see that, yes, I've gone very slightly inland. Oh, it's raining. But even if I go down to the beach over here, which is where I'm headed right now, just as we continue to get experience and try and get to the point where we can actually do stuff in this game. Is my corpse still over there? Look at that, it sure is. Let's get it before it goes away. Do you have anything on you? Nope. Then let's go ahead and remove all the meat that we can from you. And then head over here to the beach. And just take one more look because... Let's see, what am I looking at right now? Level 13. Yeah, I'm going to need two more levels. And if I need to, I suppose I could power level them. But I was kind of looking more for killing something. That's at least remotely legit, right? That's kind of my feeling anyway. Got a trike on the beach and a dodo on the beach. I suppose I could tame the dodo. I could try knocking the trike out. I'm pretty sure it would kill me if I tried to punch it out. Could definitely knock a dodo out with my hands and then tame it just for the experience. But, uh, eh, you know, it's all right. It's not a big deal. Yeah, there's nothing going on on this beach. It's pretty boring. Which, again, surprises me. I, I'm used to seeing a little more stuff out here. Some more dilos, some compies, whatever. I don't know where that compie went from the last episode, speaking of compies. That compie took off, as far as I can tell. Because I have not seen it anymore. Which, again, since I don't have any prime meat, that's probably a good thing. Because I don't really have a way to get prime meat right now. My spear is not really going to cut it. Get it? Cut it? Cut the meat? Prime meat? Get it? Here, never mind. Sorry. I'll shut up now. Anyway... I do think we need to call it an episode right there. This has been a remotely successful episode-ish. Kind of not really, sort of, possibly. I don't know. I did gain a few levels. I did kill a few things. So I guess that's something. Let's go ahead and punch a trike. Just for kicks. Oh, look at that. You're stuck. I wonder if I can knock it out. Let's try. Oh, don't spin around and face me. That's not very nice. I don't look at you when you punch me, so don't look at me when I punch you. Ah! Don't bite me! Or horn me, or whatever you're doing to me. Don't do that. I want to knock you out. KIC said knock you out. Ah! I'm going to knock you out. That's right. I knocked you out. You know what? Just for kicks, let's load you up with Mijo Berries. Why not? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a trike. I really don't. You're fine. But, you know, just for kicks, we can load it up with Mijo Berries and see what happens. It's probably going to take a little while to tame, so I'm not going to make you stand around and wait. You know what happens when you tame a monster, right? I guess it's not really a monster. That's really unfair of me to call it a monster. But you know what happens when you tame a dinosaur, right? Yes, you do. Then give me a name, and I will try and pick one, probably at the end of the week just because I have to record a bunch ahead of time for probably this weekend, the next couple weeks. You know, it's about the holidays. It's, you know, limited time. I got to do things kind of in advance. So I will try and get to all of the names at the end of the week. Uh, assuming it lives long enough, then I say, go ahead and give me names and I will try and pick a name from the list. But for now, we're going to call that an episode do remember, I like your comments, so leave them. I actually take the time to respond. When you take the time to respond, thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe if you already haven't. If you'd like to get videos as soon as they're posted, and I will catch you on another one. I like the blue light. I just like it. And that means that there's a beacon coming down right there that I can do nothing about. Good. So I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>